right? You're just slave there and holding it in front of you. Yeah! I always wanted to do that. <laughs> I am Joel Van Enwick. I work at Havoc and I'm a field application engineer. I am Sean McClelland. I am a product manager at Unity for physics and simulation. Uh, Joachim had always been thinking of what's the next step in physics and we always looked at Havoc as sort of the gold standard of physics in games and in order to succeed in the AAA space we need something that's a little bit more robust, a little bit more stable, can handle all these edge cases and can really drive into AAA. And it just made sense to reach out and start the conversations and it turned out that we had very similar aspirations, you know, being data driven, highest performance. So it was a sort of evolutionary step through, you know, ideation, development, and now to release it, well, announcement at GDC. So the design philosophy around a lot of this is really getting back to, you know, the core of what Unity started with, right? So easy to use, easy to extend, easy to modify. Right, so we wanted to make sure that physics, which is, you know, a performance critical piece of your code. You kind of want it to work out of the box. You want it to be performant. And we had to work from the ground up to ensure that we could use the data-oriented technology stack, giving people the full control, but having performance by default. We want to be able to say, you can control exactly how this physics body moves around the scene. We want them to understand how the physics system works, modify it and make it work for their needs. And having Unity Physics where it's completely open it's simple to understand, I think is going to unlock a bunch of creativity that we just, we, we just can't even begin to imagine what the, the users are going to create. One of the complexities that comes from a lot of physics systems is you're going to store cache and cache and, and state and cache. What you get from that is a, is a high degree of performance. But then that's something that you need to sort of keep track of as you're synchronizing between the server and the client. It's a really, really painful process understanding all of those things. And by going with a, a stateless design, something without caches, the users suddenly don't have to worry about that. They can drop a, a physics body into their scene. They can have character controllers walking around and doing amazing things without having to keep track of like what state happened, which physics body touched which thing, and not having to think about all of that complexity. And I think that's what's going to allow our users to create something that's truly networked and available for everyone. When you think about game development, you have very unique requirements based on what you're building. People have never had a choice before in their physics solution. And so what we're really giving with Unity Physics and Havoc Physics is this ability to say, hey, I can kind of shape these things and I can use these things for different needs. And it's not really about what X does better than Y, it's really about what suits my needs as a developer and what works best for my production. In the words of Oliver Strunk, you flip a switch, magic happens. <laughs> We want to make it fun again, right? It's the core of game development, right? Like yeah. Everybody comes into game dev and you're building a Unity project and the first thing you generally do is you attach physics to an object. Yeah. Everything revolves around physics and we want people to be excited. We want people to have fun, feel creative and feel motivated to build games. I think part of it is getting back to really empowering creators, you know, putting the tools in their hand that make them build these amazing stories and creative tools and applications, right? It's Absolutely. What we're here for. Yep.